Hello and welcome to our latest series of videos relating to our preferences settings inside Photoshop Elements. And although I'm recording this inside Photoshop Elements 8, you should be able to follow along in pretty much any version of the Elements software. So many people haven't seen the preferences options, let alone use them, and that's a shame because whilst you're not going to use them daily, it is a really good idea to set them up in a way that best complements your workflow and know where they are in the future when something isn't behaving the way you want it to. In short, preferences control the default behavior of Photoshop elements. So where do we find preferences? Well, on the PC, you'll come up here to the edit menu and then come all the way down here to the bottom of the menu list and click on preferences. And if you're using the Mac version of Photoshop elements, then you'll find preferences inside the Photoshop elements menu instead of edit. Now before we get started I want to go ahead and synchronize my preferences with yours and I'll do that by resetting them. Now notice we get a reset button over here on the right hand side and that's only good if we make changes now. So if I check a couple of these boxes like so and then I click the reset button we reset those changes. However, it does not reset the options to how they were when you first opened your version of Photoshop Elements, and that's what I wanted to do. Now, before you follow along, make sure that you haven't already set up some of your own preference settings because we're about to wipe them out in favor of returning them to the factory defaults. So if you're sure that you want to go ahead and reset your preferences, then here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is ask you to completely close down Photoshop Elements. So I'll come up here to the File menu and I'll select the Exit command. If you've got the Organizer open then you'll need to close that also. And when you're happy everything's closed down then I want you to open everything back up again. And I'll do that inside my version of Photoshop Elements by clicking on this very convenient taskbar icon just out of view from the recording area and that's going to open up the welcome screen. Now hold down Control alt shift here on the PC or on the Mac you'll need to hold down Command Option Shift keep them pressed down and then select the edit mode and after a few seconds you'll see this little warning dialog box appear, I guess that's what you'd call it, asking if we'd like to delete the Photoshop Elements settings file. Now release all of the keys that we previously had pressed down and select yes. Elements is going to open as normal, however the settings file containing all the preferences and because we deleted it, Elements is going to open as normal, however that settings file contained all the preferences and because we deleted it, Elements is smart enough to automatically produce a new one. That just so happens to be the same version that shipped with Photoshop Elements. In other words, me and you, we have now got the exact same preference settings. Another really useful reason for knowing about retailing preferences is that it can come in really handy if you notice Elements has become somewhat buggy or maybe tools and settings aren't behaving as you perhaps expect them to Sometimes the best way of solving those kind of issues is to just delete the preferences. Now to access them, like we did before, we can use the keyboard shortcut here on the PC, Control k or Command k on the Mac, and that's by far the easiest way of getting to them. So as you can see, the various options are grouped into these headers over here on the left-hand side. We're in general at the moment, but we can move between them in a number of different ways. We can either click the specific group, we can use the navigational controls over here on the right hand side, or we can use the secret keyboard shortcuts, which are control or command on the Mac, followed by the number as they are grouped. So performance would be control or command 3, transparency would be control or command 5, and then back to general would be control or command 1. Finally, I must add that there are no exact rules as to how you should set up preferences. The reasons they're called preferences is because the way you like or need elements to work depends upon your own personal preference. So my job in these videos is just to inform you what they do and give you my opinion as to how they are best set up for my own use and for what I'd consider pretty general settings there as well. There's nothing wrong with a setup already. 
but there are times when changing some of them makes your workflow faster and using elements a lot easier. Alright, with that in mind, I'll see you in the next video.